Johnny's bite on sunrise. Johnny's bite. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. Okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pretty much done his bite. <laughs> Johnny's bite. Johnny's bite on sunrise. Johnny's bite. Johnny's bite on sunrise. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Well. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe. Hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. Okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pretty much done his bite. <laughs> Johnny's bite. Johnny's bite on sunrise. Johnny's bite. Johnny's bite. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe. Hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Bismillah, wa nimal wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Friday. Welcome to Johnny Spites. Chuma Mubarak to all Muslim brothers and sisters. Now, this morning... I had a conversation yesterday with one of my friends who is a banker. After the video I showed yesterday of the people at the airport leaving the country, the Ghana Registered and Nurses and Midwife Association said that they had, between January and July, recorded about 4,000 people, 4,000 nurses leaving. And so I, I got alarmed. I asked somebody at the airport to record a video and send to me and, and they shared a video with me. And I put the video up there and my friends who are connected to the government says, oh, it's not all, all of them are not traveling. Some are just seeing family and friends off. Some of them are just, you know, going to, they are going to school, blah, 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 blah. Then my banker gave me a shocker. They told me that People actually now go and take loans from the banks and travel and run away with it. People take loans to escape from Ghana, escape. People take loans to escape. So now it's not slave trade, though. It's not Kotoka, Terminal 3 is now the gate of no return. People take monies from the banks and they run away with it. If the country were to be what it's supposed to be, people will not take loans and run away with it. But it is not. And that is a fact. And you see, yesterday, the way my friends were telling me that, oh, not all of them are going, since in Krumah's time, people have been traveling, blah, 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 blah. Check, you go, if you like, go to the embassies today again, go and check. People actually wear three piece suits, stand in the sun and the rain, looking for visa to get out of this country. The kitchen is too hot to begin with. It's a fact. The kitchen is hot. Because instead of, why would a young person go and take a loan and not want to invest it into a Greek or a pigri or something that would earn him money in the long term and also, you know, he will grow, employ people, expand, scale up, blah, 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 all those uh, business things that you pussy. But he'll go and take the loan and run away. Why would young people do that? Because he knows that there's no enable environment. And when you say people say, oh, you are talking, uh, you, are, you, are, you are being negative about your government, you are being negative about your country to hurt your country. Now, me, 
Nami, Nami Kosam. There's another two, four video I'll play for you when all is said and done. But I promise you that I'll play you portions of the secretly recorded tape of Bruguin Abu. But before I get to that, the Electoral Commission of the Republic of Ghana is bent on registering people at the district offices. <laughs> and I laugh. As if it is not enough, the Electoral Commission has been packed with MPP people. Please put the picture up there. My priest is not part. Nanakria is not part. But the M MPP has packed NPP known people at the Electoral Commission. These three, they are the Electoral Commission as we speak. We spoke about it. The president says, he is the same person who sat at the IEA and told us about Anas principles and what have you. He packed MPP people and put them there. Known MPP people, I'm telling you. The same electoral commission that is able to go to every nook and cranny, every constituency, every polling station to put ballot boxes there is the same electoral commission that says that now I want to register new voters, but I want the new voters to come to a certain centralized location at their own cost, however exorbitant, to be able to register to be on my, on my, on my, on my role. Electoral commission. And it is headed by Jane Aduque Mensa, who, when she was at the IEA, had all the fantastic ideas. She was screaming atop her lungs, at, uh, fantastic ideas. She was on the touchline. Now they put her on the field. We can't find the ball to even play. Jane Aduque Mensa. Senpeyo. We can't, you can't even find the ball to play. We can't find the ball to play. She, when she was at IEA, go, go back, go, go back. Professor Ryan, for example, good morning to you. Go back to the IEA days. Her, her IEA days. Go back and go and check the fantastic ideas and recommendations that Jean Adukwe Mesa had. And come back and tell me how Jean Adukwe Mesa is running the Electoral Commission and how it is. Was it not the same electoral commission that was busy telling everybody, even in parliament, and being adamant, like how Charlotte Osei was in the change of the logo and said, we saw it, we liked it, we chose it, blah, blah, blah. You can do nothing about it. Was it not the same Gene Aduka I was telling us about, 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 about forcing us to vote with a Ghana card? Now, they want to register people and put them on a voter ID card. Right? Now, if we're going to use the Ghana card to vote in 2024, and you are registering people to, to have a voter ID card, what will be the essence of the voter ID card when eventually everybody has a Ghana card? Is it a procurement issue? Is somebody chopping from somewhere? Is somebody going to benefit or chop from somewhere? I'm only asking my questions. Because the Electoral Commission believes that it is the Ghana card that we should use to vote. So why are they going to congregate people to, to, to decide and use the Ghana card or do voter ID card? That's a question. When it is election day, Electoral Commission will even get on a canoe to take things to a front place, whatever, postpone elections. Now it's got into registration. They say they can't go everywhere. You have to come to the district capital. Some will spend 80 cities, some will spend 40 cities, some will spend 100 cities, 120 cities, just to go and register for one card. Yet the Electoral Commission, with all its independence, is supposed to be a servant to us. But they see themselves more as bosses than servants. And it is headed by a simple woman. Somebody from Gang, Sempe Jean Adukwe. I'm not singing Blagaza Adukwe no No. It's a, it's a serious issue that must be looked at. Now, I've, 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 at least five political parties have gone to sue the Electoral Commission on that score. And I'm just casting my mind back to Abu Ramadan and Evans Nimaku, who is now the director of elections at the MPP. I'm casting my mind to 2012, the NHIS registrants, and I'm looking at the court going like that. I, when I tell you people I didn't start today, some people don't understand because I have the record, I have the history. I'm going back. 
I'm looking at the electoral commission. I'm looking at the courts. I'm looking at the the government. I'm looking at everybody like that because there's a, a record of 2012 Abu Ramadan Evans Nimakun NHIS registrants. I'm looking at it. If we finish registering for the the voter ID card and we decide to use the what you call the Ghana card as our sole uh, what you call voting whatever it is. What would have been the essence? So why don't we dedicate much more time to give people Ghana card? Because people are registered for Ghana card over three, three months, six months, one year, and they have not gotten the Ghana card. So if we think that that's what we're going to use and is the most important, why don't you go ahead and use that? Why don't you go ahead and, and invest in that? Why don't you go ahead and get people to use it? But the Electoral Commission says, I'm independent. I'm this, I'm that. I'm this, I'm that. If you finish plunging the country into chaos, we will see where you go because the Electoral Commission is guarded by military. Meanwhile, the police are there. The police are not ineffective. The police are there. They are not ineffective. Please pull up the police, uh, police uh, letter, letter for me. The police yesterday told us that we have interdicted COP Alex Spencer, we have interdicted Superintendent Asari, Superintendent JB. This morning they are telling us that the, uh, the interdiction has been suspended. Ajana one, Ajana two. <laughs> what does it mean to suspend an interdiction? Does it mean that the people are no longer under disciplinary action? And that should be, have been the first thing that you, you should have done. Ajana one, Ajana two. You interdict somebody and say you suspend the interdiction. ACP uh, uh, Akrofi, good morning to you. When, when we knew you as a uh, uh, superintendent and you were in the media space, within a space of, I think, two years or less than even two years, you had just risen quickly to ACP. Are you serving the system? Are you a Damparanian? I'm asking my questions. Because COP Mensa had raised the questions about people rising quickly. He himself is a beneficiary of two promotions in two years or three years. So there, there are questions to be asked. I promised you I'll play the videos for you. Let's read the police letter. Johnny's There's an nice. update on the interdiction. In CEDA, it is unprecedented, but it is happening. 7 September, Ghana Police Service. Update on police interdiction of three officers. One, following the interdiction of COP Mr. George Alex Mensa, Superintendent Emmanuel Eric Jibian, Superintendent Mr. George Lys uh, Lys Lysander Asari, in connection with a leak tape, audio tape, the police administration would commence disciplinary proceedings into their conduct and uh, upon completion of the ongoing probe by parliament. In order not to prejudice the ongoing probe, the police administration, eh? please clear the thing off the screen so I can see it, I can read it. The police administration, solution, clear the thing off the screen, I can see it, I, so I can read it. I want to read. Johnny's bite. The police administration, I can't read. Johnny's bite. So there's, there's a small challenge. Now, the question I ask myself is, when the matter happened at the West Africa Secondary School was, Dr. Shinofori, a very remarkable English teacher, she was asked to step aside. When the matter, matter happened in Tamale, is it Ghana School or Ghana's? One of the schools, I've forgotten what, which school it was. Where they were using toilets at dormitories, GES said they were going to investigate and they will bring us a report in two weeks. They have never been able to do that. They asked the headmaster to step aside. I can give you a plethora of places where the headmasters and the headmistresses and civil servants have been asked to step aside. When it gets to police, who are also MPP members who are wearing MPP clothes, they say we have an update on police interdiction and in order not to prejudice the probe, the ongoing probe, the police administration has suspended the interdiction. How do you interdict and suspend? Who did the interdiction? Was it the IGP? Was it the vice president? Because the vice president was mentioned in the tape as number two. The IGP was also mentioned. 
Please, play part two of the secret video for me. Johnny's bite. Yes, the secret video. I told you I'll play it. Chop, chop, small, small. And I told the person that, look, if this boy reported IGP and I'm invited, I'm going to say the truth. And I don't want embarrassment. You should tell IGP whatever he can do to help you, to get something for you, or you are struggling, he should do it. The person, when I came back, you tell me that I will give them next week. He's going to talk to IGP. And if we talk to him, you will make sure IGP at least do something for you. What they will do, I'm not yet me. So if he go about there, you will disgrace me. You will spoil my name. It is you and your boss. If you want peace, we don't use violence to get uh, to achieve your head. We use dialogue. After all, me, I don't know what I did. I was in my office, you brought I did. And I did what you want me to do. I did. I did you promise one I never get it. You said that time he brought me to the you all go. I didn't get it. Was it Ben Kofi? Ben Kofi. Ben Kofi. The contract was awarded to Ben Kofi, and Ben Kofi gave the contract to him. So it is not the contract, me and him, we know our IGP giving him the contract. That contract didn't come. Look at what they are telling me now. Mm -hmm. So this particular contract, the job was given to Ben Kofi, and Ben Kofi also intend to let him to him. So I said, now, so tell me, are you still bringing any money for me to give to the boys or what? Well, you said you got some calls from even the vast president of people to call you. Me, I don't know how they get your number. But me, I called them. I called your, your sister. Your sister told me the contract was ready. They are now going to do to produce products. Produce. Now, I want to argue, argue to say the contract was completed. If you don't want trouble, bring the money for me to give to the boys. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee you Johnny's the problem can come. Johnny's so he told me that today is Monday. Mm -hmm. He said today you're going to meet the Kofi, the person the contract was awarded to. To discuss it and see they can get some money. So you can't even buy it. The conclusion can't be made. I'll tell you what I'm going to say. So I know what I'm going to say. No, we, we will not go anything and look. We, our, your share and our share need to come one place. What I'm saying is that because hey. I have what? I wanted to tell you. Now we'll know we, what we, 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 I tell you, when you get your share, we will not. Yeah, I'm Look, I don't want old man to know that I don't want him to know that I'm not going to get your share. I tell you, I'm going to get your share. 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 i am going to get your me and, and, I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm also you assuring listen, Chama is that you listen, woman, take time, take time. listen, yeah. I swear God. Yeah. Two people get into a meeting, they record each other. So pretend that Asari recording uh, <laughs> Bugri Nabu. There's no trust. Good morning. Johnny's bite.